Doc Athena. Ngayon ay pag-uusapan natin ang mga bakuna para sa ating mga alagang kambing na available dito sa Pilipinas. So first is the CDNP or the CDP vaccine. This is against clostridial diseases. Meron po ito clostridium perfringens type C and type B as well as clostridium tetani or tetani. So clostridium perfringens they produce toxins which are either type C which affects less than one month old or the type D which usually affects more than one month old. Ito po yung nagkakos ng sinasabi nilang overeating disease. Kasi usually yung bacteria na to ay nagproproliferate sa small intestine ng ating mga kids or goat kids at nagproproduce ng toxins. It is very fast kaya makita mo no, walang signs to eh usually no. Ang sigla-sigla ng alaga mo and then the following day, makikita mo na lang na patay na siya. Even with a very healthy animal. Kaya sinasabi na ang CDNP ay isang core vaccine for goats. Kasi yung prevention for this kind of diseases are very important. Alright, so meron din siyang clostridium tetani. Of course, this is the cause of tetanus. When do you give CD and P? Mga dose or inahen. You give this 30 days prior to feeding. That is to give enough time for the dough to produce antibodies that will be passed through the colostrum. Okay, sa kanyang mga anak. So, kung makinig po kayo no, sa ating discussion before sa definition of terms, yung colostrum po ay considered as the best vaccine daw kasi yun po ay punong-puno, very concentrated with antibodies that will be given to the kids. No? Kaya dapat makuha ng mga kids yung colostrum kasi nga punong-puno po ito ng antibodies. Ano yung antibody? Panoorin po ninyo yung ating first na series for vaccine. Ando ang mga definition of terms natin. For those, no, 30 days before feeding. And for kids, oh, kapag nanganak na, kailan bibigyan yung mga bata, batang kambeng, ha? Kung vaccinated ang inahin, 5 to 6 weeks of age, pwede mong bigyan yung mga kids and give your booster after 3 to 4 weeks. Okay. Eh, Doc, paano kung hindi sigurado kung nabigyan yung inahen ng bakuna? Well, you should give the kids at the first two weeks of age and then give the booster after three to four weeks. How about for the breeder box? Ang mga box naman. Box, yearlings, and other adult animals in your herd, you could give them 30 days before breeding. And, depende sa prevalence ng disease sa inyong lugar, talk with your veterinarian. Because, programa ay maaaring annually or semi-annually. So, depende yan sa recommendation ng inyong veterinaryo. It's always uh, better to discuss it with an expert, yung mga provincial vet, no? kasi sila yung nakakaalam ng prevalence ng certain disease sa inyong lugar. Okay? Does it warrant the use of vaccine? Baka naman bibigay kayo ng bakuna, eh, hindi naman pala kailangan. Meron tayong kailangan i-consider yung tinatawag na herd immunity kapag nagbabakuna tayo. Next, available vaccine is the chemosep, hemorrhagic septicemia. What is this? <laughs> Alright, you can check no, the separate lecture video about hemorrhagic septicemia. This is caused by Pasturella multocida. We're trying to prevent pasturellosis in ating mga alaga. But hemorrhagic septicemia, from the name of the disease itself, this hemorrhagic may pagdurugo and septicemia, there is infection of the blood. Oh, hirap habulin ito kasi merong per acute form yung disease. Ibig sabihin, minutes lang or hours ang binibilang bago mamatay yung hayop kapag tinamaan na sila ng sakit na ito. Okay? So, hemosep, this is actually registered for Ruminants. Kung pupuntahan ninyo yung website po ng BAI, Chemosep is one of the registered vaccines for ruminants in the country. CDNP kanina, no? Available siya sa Pilipinas, yes, but it is categorized under 
uh, biological sports wines. Pero dun sa label naman ng uh, ating bakuna ay nakalagay doon yung ruminants, no? sheep and goats. And meron din for cattle, of course, and carabao. First, we have the CDNP or the CDP vaccine. Ang meron po sa ating TVET ay yung Toxifra, which is a product of Kipra Philippines. And next is we have Hemosep. In our PVET, we have Hemosep from East Asia Vet that is registered for ruminants talaga. Ano pa? Well, we can also give anti-rabies vaccine, okay? Especially in places where there is a high prevalence of rabies. Remember, this is a zoonotic disease. So, hindi lang naman siya sa canines or sa carnivores. So, tumatama ang rabies even with herbivores. May mga reports talaga na present ang rabies sa ating mga herbivores. And actually, in other countries, kasama talaga ang magbibigay ng anti-rabies sa mga goats. Pero depende. Depende sa lugar at depende sa programa ibinigay ng veterinaryo. So, you always have to consult your veterinarian before giving these vaccines. So, kaya nagbibigay ng anti-rabies vaccine. Kasi nga, pwede maging carrier yung ating mga alaga. Especially kapag may close contact lagi with canines. Right now, ang practice at lansa, rabies ang isa po sa mga core vaccines for dogs and cats. Pag nga, merong contact ng herd, sheep, or goat, sa um, mga herd dogs. I think it is logical to give anti-rabies vaccine. But you have to consult your veterinarian because again, vaccines or any other biologicals or any RX drug for that matter should be given under veterinary supervision. Especially if you want your farm to practice yung gahap or yung good animal husbandry practices. Pilipinas, di naman sa pinopromote ko ang Rabicin but since college kasi ito na yung hinahawakan kong bakuna for anti-rabies and this is a product of uh, Boringer Engelheim before nung college ako under Marial pa siya is applicable to all species 1 ml yung goats niya per animal. Since we're talking about herbivores here, they recommend it to give it at 4 months of age if unvaccinated ang mother. But if the animal came from a vaccinated dam or doe or mother, you can give it at 9 months of age and have an annual booster. Yun lamang po. I hope ay may natutunan po kayo sa ating maikling kwentuhan with Doc Athena. Summary lang po. Meron po tayong CDNP vaccine sa Pilipinas and that is Toxifra. Please do consult your veterinarian before giving this one. CDNP or CDP vaccine is considered a score vaccine for goats. Okay, available po yan sa atin. Alright, next is yung Hemosep vaccine. And next is the anti-rabies vaccine. So discuss all these vaccines with your veterinarian if it is right, is it logical to give it in your farm or in your herd. Are there any other vaccines? Yes, madami po vaccines for goats pero wala po dito sa Pilipinas. Sa ibang bansa, meron silang against CL, meron sila for ORF or yung sore mouth, vaccines for the infectious causes of abortions, and they also have for foot rat. Madami no, pero dito sa Pilipinas, uh, unfortunately, these are not accessible yet. These are not available yet. So, yung first three, no, yung tatlong binanggit ko sa ngayon, yun pa lang po yung available sa ating bansa. Pero hindi ibig sabihin no, na kailangan yung ibigay lahat itong mga to, no. Before you go into a vaccination program, please do consult your local vet. Bago po kayo sa ating YouTube channel, please do like, subscribe, and share our videos para naman po makarating din ang informasyon sa ating mga kafarmilya. Kung meron po kayong mga katanungan, huwag po kayong mahiyang mag-iwan na comment sa ating comment section dito sa ating YouTube channel at maaari din po kayo magpadala ng mensahe sa ating Facebook page, Doc Athena Facebook page. Salamang po, maraming salamat. I hope to see you again. Please take care everyone and God bless. Thank you. Bye!